Hi guys, in this video, I will talk about the histograms. So in my previous video, I have talked about how you can create a bar chart like this uh, within the Python Matplotlib lab library. And uh, the basic difference that we have between the uh, a bar chart and the and the histogram is basically histogram is useful for looking at the distribution of data. So what happens is on the x-axis, you have the x-axis value. It can be let's say your age, your height or anything and then these bars basically or always represent the count. So this way we identify whether in a particular nation you know there are people who are like of less height or there are people who are more of more height or if it is like this then we say okay that's okay that there is a you know proper distribution there are good number of people on higher side lower side as well as on the middle side so it's kind of a normal distribution that it follows so that's basically the differences uh, between a bar chart usage of bar chart and his between the uses of his bar chart and histogram so i will go to my code over here and import the library import matplotlib as dot p pyplot as plt and percentage matplotlib in line so that i am getting my charts in line to my code otherwise if i don't write this line as i mentioned in my previous videos i will have to write plt dot show to view my charts but with the help of this uh, magic command i don't have to write the that particular line of command so shift and to, to execute that um let's create uh, maybe value one it can be anything i mean let's say it is the height and uh, generally np the height is uh, is between anywhere between I would say on an average it is between 150 centimeter to 200 let's say for example so what we can do is uh, we can actually get uh, the numpy also to, to basically get the ranges import and numpy as np so first what we can do is we can use np dot arrange i think i executed this i delete should come if i'm np dot arrange yeah and uh, then the first of all the start value 150 the end value let's say 200 and the step maybe let's say after, with every two values and let's so this is the data that has been created for us and let's see it should be f fairly straightforward but uh, while plotting it but that's basically represents let's say the height mm, of probably man let's say for example so what we can do is we can not trade <laughs> hist and uh, height all right here we have the height starting from 115 going up to 200 is showing the distribution which is relatively flat um, what we can do to make it more meaningful since it is right now having no width or the no space between the bar we can use the r width parameter which is a row width parameter and say let's 0.9 and here we have a proper row width now after that we can also have the distribution let's say between 150 to 170 there is one and 170 to maybe 190 or then rest of them you know 200 so maybe like three bins if you want we can just specify the bins over here so let's say three now we have three bins if i want four i can get four and that's usually you know people really experiment with the bins about how many bins that they have generally when you are creating the bar chart the histogram first time you are not aware how many bins you really need so people usually experiment with this also you have the options where you can have the bin uh, specified let's say 150 and then next i want 165 
then next I want uh, maybe 175 and uh, maybe 190 and then finally 200 and now here I can specify the pin and press shift enter so now as you can see uh, I have two bins which is kind of clubbed over here and I think two bins clubbed over here so but it has basically you know segregated the data into multiple bins for me as I can see 165 is coming over here then 170 and then here 185 and then finally uh, sorry, 190 and then finally it is going to 200 now after creating these bins you have uh, some other properties also which are very useful it's like uh, let's say if you have multiple uh, histogram over here so if i go ahead and show you so we have this height let's say we give it height underscore m to say male height and height underscore f and let's use the random this time dot rent number and uh, let's give it like maybe 20 random numbers so it can be any random number so let's just give it a name value because that will not presentation of right height but let's keep it as height just to so executed this plt dot hist and we have height and now within the brackets we can specify these two values and let's have the bins automatically been identified so now it's little difficult for you to see so what i can do is i can simply follow this which i was following i was thinking that i will show you the both the effects random number and all so maybe let's say in case of uh, female generally you know here in india i would say the height is a bit less so i will just go and say maybe 140 to 180 and uh, give it a different names to these underscore m underscore f execute that height give it a name height underscore m height underscore f all right so now we have the two different heights and for females as you can see it's going over here right now we are not able to see the legend so let's go ahead and see plt dot legend okay i need to give the label over here that's why it is not giving the so male female all right now we have the label male and female over here uh, with the help of the legend and the label argument but if you will see the real life like for example i've shown you this one uh, it shows proper you know random distribution so how you can basically experiment or create a random distribution uh, it's it's basically by rand underscore n random n the one which i showed you earlier random dot rent n random number so to generate let's say 1000 random number we want to generate and uh, then create a histogram plt dot hist and say rent underscore n okay now you see it's pretty much a similar structure like this and generally when doing a uh, regression you know that's like one of the normal assumption that it the data should be normally distributed and a normally distributed data looks like this what I can do is I can use the R is equals to 0.9 for a better representation. So it shows that similar sort of bar on both sides with the same, you know, count. That's why we are saying that it follows a very close random uh, number distribution. Another uh, property or rest of the other property, if you want to see, you can press shift tab tab 
and uh, we have his type is equals to bar and uh, whether it's a stack bar chart and orientation is is another interesting one so maybe we just showed you orientation is uh, it's basically vertical so this is a vertical what you can have is a horizontal also so horizontal maybe let me just check yeah small okay so here we have the horizontal one so sometimes uh, there is a need that you want a horizontal distribution and you can do this Let's use this property but there are rest other very interesting properties which you can uh, you know use like weights cumulative all of that one and down there they have shown you the description as well like for a orientation i use the horizontal and by default it is vertical so this is about uh, how you can create the histogram within the matplotlib python library so that's pretty much all i have and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic